Mackenzie, 28, filed for divorce from her husband Ryan, 36, on February 28, 2023, after getting married in 2017. The U.S. Sun previously reported the divorce was dismissed on February 19, 2024, because there were no filings in the case for 270 days. Now the U.S. Sun can exclusively reveal Ryan has filed his own divorce case against his estranged wife. According to a Tennessee court docket viewed by the U.S. Sun, Ryan filed for a divorce with minor child on March 6. He also filed a permanent proposed parenting plan. The U.S. Sun previously reported a Tennessee judge dismissed Mackenzie's case against Ryan in February. Court papers filed on February 19 read, It is ordered by the court that this case be, and the same is hereby dismissed, without prejudice, with a cost taxed against the plaintiff. A clerk for Hamilton County explained to the U.S. son of the court's decision, There was never a final decree on this case. It sat for over 270 days with nothing filed, so it was dismissed on procedural steps. The parties have 30 days from the order to reopen the case or it will remain dismissed, according to the clerk. Ryan and Mackenzie tried to resolve the divorce in mediation but were unsuccessful. The Ashley's Reality Roundup reported Mackenzie pleaded for a judge to reactivate the case, which is separate from the one Ryan filed today. Mackenzie stated in the court documents obtained by the Ashley that Ryan was in jail when she initially filed for divorce, which could have been the reason for the holdup. On November 3, 2023, following Ryan's release from jail, the parties scheduled mediation. Ryan appeared for the mediation but terminated the session immediately. The document said, Thereafter, Ryan was again incarcerated for a shorter period of time. The pair were expected in court on March 18. In Mackenzie's divorce petition, obtained by the U.S. Sun, she claimed Ryan is guilty of inappropriate marital conduct and that irreconcilable differences exist between them. Mackenzie listed their separation date as January 2023 after Ryan became erratic and violent. She also claimed she filed a protection order request against him when he became violent with her in front of the party's minor children. The former teen mom, O.G. Starr, also noted Ryan's reported history of substance abuse. She claimed in the papers, following service of the order of protection on defendant, he vandalized the marital residence to the extent it became uninhabitable. Mackenzie continued to allege, in light of defendant's criminal and threatening behavior, criminal history and substance abuse, plaintiff is afraid for the safety and well-being of the children in his presence. For these reasons, the defendant's parenting time should be suspended until further order of the court. She requested a temporary restraining order to keep Ryan from taking the children out of her custody or from school or daycare providers until further orders of the court. Mackenzie requested to be the primary residential parent of the children, as she is fit and proper. She requested Ryan provide child support for Jagger, 5, and Stella, 4, as well as alimony for her. The NTV alum also requested he repay the cost of damages made to their marital home and that he pay court costs. At the time, Mackenzie was granted temporary custody of their children and Ryan was prohibited from removing their children from her custody. Ryan was served with the divorce papers, but he did not respond. The last filing in the case was on March 30, 2023, when Ryan's lawyer filed a motion to withdraw as counsel for defendant Ryan Christopher Edwards. Ryan and Mackenzie have had a tumultuous relationship since their split. Mackenzie and Ryan's marital issues began in early 2023 when he posted an X-rated photo of Mackenzie and accused her of cheating. Mackenzie then filed a petition for a protection order against Ryan on February 8, 2023. Mackenzie wrote in court papers of an alleged January 15, 2023 fight 
Arguing, Ryan punched holes in the walls and doors. He held me up by my neck to the wall, threw me down in the hallway, and said if he could not have me, no one could. Opened pocket knife, put to my back like he was going to kill me. This was in front of children. I tried to leave. He smashed my phone and took my car keys. In the petition, Mackenzie claimed of a January 24, 2023 fight. He came into the bedroom where I was laying down, pretending like he's going to punch my face, breaks the bed with me in it, getting in my face and yelling. I wanted to get kids and leave. He wouldn't let me leave. Threw me down in the living room. Threw menthol nicotine in my eyes.